For the Dansk supermarket retailing group, Dematic has built a diverse and highly efficient distribution center near Aarhus. The 800 stores of the Danish Dansk supermarket retailing group stock virtually everything you need on a daily and occasional basis. The company's supermarkets and stores trade under familiar names such as Netto, Bilka and Fortex. Their supply chain is characterized by packages of a huge range of shapes, weights and sizes. This applies especially to the non-food sector, represented by Bilka and Fortex. A new distribution center was built for both subsidiaries in 2010 on a 53,000 square meter site in Arslev near Aarhus. With the lowest picking costs and highest quality, highly complex pallets for retail are created here. The challenge, despite the diverse range of products handled, the flow of material between the warehouse's entry and exit points should be as automated as possible yet remain flexible. The project also needed to meet the various requirements of the two chains in terms of pallet packing. No other retailer had ever overcome such a challenge. In the past, the wide range of goods handled by a supermarket chain had always resulted in high levels of manual labor. The distribution center in Arslev was designed specifically to meet the challenges of retail with its seasonal fluctuations and a wide range of products. As well as providing virtually flawless order picking, the system provided by Domatic responds simply and quickly to various demand situations. What makes the solution so special is the way it combines a multi-shuttle warehouse and ergonomic palletizing stations. The solution is based on two high bay racking systems with 10 and 6 aisles respectively and a 12 aisle multi-shuttle system with 108,000 tote storage spaces and 180 shuttles. It is 17 meters high, includes 15 floors and allows around 6,000 items to enter and exit the warehouse an hour. The larger of the two high base systems has a capacity of 81,000 euro pallets. Here, more than 300 pallets can be taken into storage and around 250 removed from storage every hour. The smaller high base system can hold 21,000 euro pallets, but is used primarily to hold pallets containing large and bulky packages. The high bay racking systems are serviced by a fully automatic monorail system. Most of the manual work takes place in the incoming goods part of the non-food warehouse where the overseas totes arrive with non-palletized packages. These have to be manually placed on conveyor belts before they are palletized, labeled and wrapped in a process controlled by Domatic's DC Director Warehouse Management System. The same applies to the next step where these pallets are automatically transported into one of the high bay racking systems using a roller conveyor and monorail system. Incoming goods already on Euro pallets are unloaded by forklift drivers and scanned using wireless terminals. DC Director then defines where the pallets are to be stored and details appear on the terminal's display. Pallets without a barcode are immediately given appropriate labeling. Once the individual stock keeping units have been identified, the data is compared with the cargo list. The pallets are then transported by forklift to one of the reception points which can hold up to two pallets at any one time. Here they are scanned for the last time, checked for overhanging boxes and then transported into one of the high bay systems using the monorail system. The system offers various options for dealing with goods arriving on mixed pallets. The packages on the pallet can either be split up right away by treating them like a non-palletized tote delivery or the entire pallet is put into intermediate storage in the high bay racking system. If the pallet contains small or urgently required subsets, it's automatically transported to one of eight depalletizing stations where the packages are manually placed on conveyor belts and automatically assigned trays. The packages are then individually and automatically collected in the multi-shuttle system. Most of the time, the eight depalletizing stations are however supplied directly from one of the high bay racking systems via the monorail system. The staff working on the stations can adjust the height of the pallets at the touch of a button and tilt them, which spares them from having to bend and lift heavy objects. 
A display tells the staff the number of boxes to place on the conveyor belt. For quality assurance purposes, the boxes removed are automatically counted before being put into intermediate storage in the multi-shuttle system, again with trays. Up to 3,900 packages an hour are processed in this manner. At the same time, the software also takes the pallets which have not been fully cleared back into the high bay racking system. Up to 150 pallets an hour can be transported back to the 41 meter high bay in this way. The concept developed by Dematic provides two areas for order picking. There are four stations for the upstream pre-order picking of small parts using totes and 16 stations for the final semi-automatic formation of entire pallets. Both areas use the goods to person principle and the small parts area is controlled using pick by light. The order pickers fill 24 order totes, a process in which the goods required are provided in two supply totes and then transported back into the multi-shuttle warehouse. The 16 palletizing stations are the very heart of the system. This is where automatic conveying technology brings together the pre-picked small parts totes from the multi-shuttle system and the small and medium-sized boxes separated at the depalletizing stations. The trays are automatically emptied in the approach to the palletizing station and fed back into the cycle. A third source is the pallets holding very large and bulky packages from the second high bay racking system. Over 300 pallets an hour can be supplied from here to the palletizing stations. The monorail system transports these from the high bay rack system and they are lifted to an ergonomic working height by a lifting table. Again, this solution avoids all movements which will inevitably wear joints and vertebrae in the long term. The packages can then be lifted up to the target pallet using a vacuum lift. Each station is controlled by a screen which precisely specifies the order of packing for the order picker precisely planned in advance in the WMS DC director. Layers of highly complex pallets which may contain goods from all product areas featuring a whole host of characteristics and levels of sensitivity are therefore produced in Arslev. Stacking prohibitions and similar restrictions are automatically taken into account in DC director. Furthermore, the preferences and requirements of the individual Bilka and Fotex branches are also taken into consideration. The pallets are packaged specifically for departments and areas so that they can be depalletized with minimum effort by the recipient. The maximum output here is around 270 pallets an hour. The highly automated and ergonomic system is clearly leading by example and having a huge impact on the entire retail trade in the high-wage countries of Scandinavia. This warehouse is to handle considerably more goods by the year 2019 and the Dematic solution is already fully equipped to do so.